Hello, everyone. My name is Mutaz Hamed. I work at LaGuardia Community College for the Center for Teaching and Learning as an ePortfolio consultant. And I wanted to sit down and share my initial reactions to a book that we recently read. The book is Pedagogy of the Oppressed by Paulo Freire. And in particular, I wanted to talk about one theme or one uh, concept that Freire introduces in the book. I want to preface this by saying that the book was uh, really difficult and challenging to read. The theme that I want to talk about, or the concept that I want to talk about, is this idea of fear of freedom. Now, initially, when I read this, uh, I was I was very much against it. I I wanted to reject it uh, because I didn't understand how can you know someone be afraid of freedom? Because in my mind, I always assumed that everyone wanted to be free and everyone uh, wanted to be liberated in some way. Uh, so that's why I didn't like it and it didn't really sit well with me. And it wasn't until I had many great conversations with my colleagues, and I should really say dialogue, about the book, about its context, about the context in which it was written, that I sort of began to see what Freire uh, might have meant by this idea of fear of freedom. I think for the oppressed people during his time, um, this meant uh, this idea of fear of freedom stemmed from, you know, if 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 they go against, you know, the powers that that kept them down, it could it could potentially mean the collapse of their reality as they as they knew it, and and that can be that can be very scary. And I and I think also in the book, uh, Freire mentions this idea that the oppressed have or housed within them uh, an oppressor. Um, I'm not sure if it's a mentality, but they house within them an oppressor. Uh, so in turn, if, if they fight for their freedom and they, they, they attain that freedom, uh, there is a possibility that they, they themselves could become uh, uh, oppressors of their own people. Right? So that, that can also um, be uh, a motivating factor uh, to keep someone from wanting to fight for his freedom. Or inhibit or instill in someone this this idea of fear of freedom. At least that's what I think it means. Um, I would have to go back and reread the text uh, and just reanalyze it to really uh, get a better understanding of what it all means in the in the bigger picture that Freire was trying to paint. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts um, on that. And again, thank you uh, for listening or watching.